Tech Tip Tuesday. Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Tech Tip Tuesday. Today is a short one, but very important, and it applies to any race car with steering wheel buttons. So whether you're using our Monocode Cord Pro or you're using just like the little green and red buttons like we sell or who a bunch of people sell, uh, this is going to be very applicable to you. And uh, what I'm talking about is cord management, and most importantly. How do you prevent those cords from ripping out uh, the wiring on the cord end, on the uh, button side, and just everything in between? Because if you go to a racetrack on a regular weekend, you'll see somebody that's looking for a new button, somebody that lost around because the wires broke or tore out. Uh, and this little step will save people a lot of headaches. It won't save them all, but it'll save most of them. Um, and it's gonna make your experience a lot better and a lot more successful. So let's just dive right in. So of course, like I said, we have the Monocord Pro on this. Now this, if you haven't seen it, it allows you to put up to four buttons. We only have two on this, on one cord. There's four pair of wire inside of here. And the best part is it has a quick release electronic connection um, so that when you take the wheel off and want to hang it up somewhere or get it out of the way, um, you can do the same thing with the wiring. So you don't have four individual wires, all that stuff. So like I said before, um, you know, this video isn't reliant on this particular product, but it is uh, applicable to all the different options of how you do it. All these steering wheels come with a little dang, a cord like this, um, some, you know, smaller, some bigger. The problem in lies is all your accessories, the dash, all that stuff. So what people have the tendency of doing is just what's here. Um, you wire everything in, you tie it up back here you connect it to the, the button end or the steering wheel end, and then you leave it. And then when you wrap everything around, um, what happens is uh, it starts to tear wiring. So the tip I'm giving you today is basically to prevent the wiring from wrapping around items that A, you don't want them to get messed up, and B, you don't want your wiring to get messed up. As you can see, we can stretch this out a little bit. Um, but the most important part of what we're doing here today is getting... Um, this wiring basically hooked up to a point here that's in front of it so that when you spin everything around, um, it's basically has slack in this area. It's not trying to wrap around other items in the vehicle. And uh, it's gonna give you a lot more slack to wrap it around two, three, four times, especially in a street style driven car um, where you have to turn a bunch to make one turn. Um, that's when it seems like you get in the most problems. If you leave it back here, what happens is when you start to turn, this catches initially and then it just tears everything out. And especially if you have wiring coming out of, on the top and going to the bottom, that type of thing, um, it's a problem, but it can even be a problem with our Monocord Pro. So uh, I'm gonna kind of like just do a, uh, just a demonstration so you can kind of see. Some setups are gonna be worse, some are gonna be better than this, uh, but this whole concept is going to make everybody's life easier. It's gonna make the longevity of these cords and wires and stuff way better. Okay, now, so we're just gonna go ahead and simply move our connection point to in front of this. Now, there's some like nice stuff that people make, uh, little Deutsch connectors and stuff that mount on this. Um, you can definitely use those, but I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes. Of course, this is ugly, but like I said, it's for illustrative purposes. Your length can be dialed in a little bit more than that, but look <clears throat> what happens here. The cord falls where it needs to. So another tech tip came up uh, from my own mistake. What I realized is I have too much slack hanging off of this straight wire. And what that does is it allows, um, you know, this to kind of fold over like this versus if it was tighter in there, it was gonna hold tighter. Um, the other thing that I forgot to do is on this Monocord Pro, we have an attachment point right here. Um, that's designed to basically attach that uh, cord and give it a strain relief, a true strain relief. And as you can see, um, or you can't see, take it off for you there this is meant to have a zip tie on it so it's a half basically a half moon 
um, and it pinches it in there so that all the strain is right here rather than on the actual plug wires itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and shorten this. Um, kind of interesting that it's a uh, tech tip inside of a tech tip. Tech tip, tech tip, Tuesday. And then uh, I'll get back to showing you the benefit and how this uh, lays out perfectly. So we got this fixed, as you can see, um, it's quite a bit shorter on that straight leg. So just another quick tip, um, this zip tie needs to be able to sit in this slot. If it's on the top side, it's not gonna be effective as it is uh, because we're basically trying to pinch this wire in here. Um, so get yourself a thin, correct style zip tie, one that's strong that you can really tighten without it breaking and uh, give it a good tighten in there. That's gonna give you your strain relief so that when you, if it does catch something, it doesn't tear off. So clip that off um, and then I'll just show you how what I was trying to show you before, but I uh, made a tech tip inside of a tech tip. So since this is connected up here, we can now wrap this around and we're actually using the stretchiness of the cord rather than tearing on the wire itself. Um, this is important because uh, like I said, for the longevity of the wires, all that stuff, you do want not want to strain any part here. Everything between the two um, where it's stretchy is what we're trying to take advantage of stretching out and all that stuff. So. I can go ahead and clip this wire. Uh, like I said, you can do this a little bit nicer and neater on your own car, but this is ready to go. So that's it guys. This Tech Tip Tuesday is made to make your racing career and racing weekends a lot better and more reliable. This simple tip, which costs you a couple zip ties in addition to whatever you have now, is going to save the buttons, the Monocord Pro, all that stuff. And uh, it's gonna make you not lose in the final round because you tore a button or wires uh, out of the back of the steering wheel. So if you guys have ideas for the next Tech Tip Tuesday, drop them down below in the comment section. That's how we get ideas for the next video. That's uh, actually where this idea came from because somebody asked me what the best way to prevent that was. So thanks for tuning in guys, we'll see you next time. Tech Tip Tuesday, Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey guys, 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 hey Tuesday. Tech tip 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 Tuesday.